All right, so I'm making this video because of a request to show how to do killer combos. So that's 12 hits and up. So um, as far as tutorials go, I've already made tutorials for each of the characters which show their special moves and autos, linkers, finishers, all that stuff. There's probably the auto mission here and there uh, throughout the series, but this is sort of an extension on, I guess, the basic tutorial. So um, I talked about combos and right how they work and everything but I didn't necessarily demo exactly how to do all of the or how to do a, ki a killer combo so in killer instincts you have to do at least three hits or it doesn't count right two, two hits together you don't get it there's nothing called a double combo so you got one two three now it'll show a triple okay so we've got starting with three you got triple super hyper brutal master awesome blaster monster king and then at 12 you get killer and I just rambled that off not with a cheat sheet. I've just I've said this stuff and thought about it so much since this game came out that it's it's like the alphabet. Um, so, um, all right. So let's let let's show basic combo structure. This is what I talked about before in the tutorial. Um, in order to get up into the 12 hits without using an ultra, it's going to be five parts: an opener, and then there's an auto, a linker, and then an auto and then you finish it off with an ender. So there's five parts to it. Now, the thing is, certain paths you take uh, might make the combo drop sooner. I'm gonna show you an example. So one of TJ's openers, back four quick punch. Then after that, we could press quick punch. That would be an auto. Now his linker, we're gonna charge forward and press back quick punch, right? This is all on quick punch. Boom, auto, linker. And then after that, I'm press quick punch again, which is an auto. But you see, he falls down. Now, if I took a different path with different autos, and there's lots of different <laughs> variations on paths you can take, but we could we could do a different path and maybe get more hits. So an example would be uh, his charge back forward fierce kick. It's a knee, and then we can do let's say medium kick. And then after that, let's do a linker. And then after that, let's do fierce kick, which is one of your options. He, he fell over there because, right, his health was depleted, but let's just show it. So this is charge back, forward fierce kick, medium kick, forward back quick punch, and then fierce kick. And you see how he stayed standing. Now, if I'd chosen a different option, like let's say, instead of that last fierce kick, I did quick punch after the linker. You see, he falls down. So this is where you're going to need to sort of experiment a bit to find the paths that can go on the longest. So example of a killer combo with TJ combo. This is definitely not the only one you can do, but so we're going to charge back for fierce kick. That's your opener. We're going to do medium kick. That's your auto. We're going to do forward back quick punch for the linker. And then we're going to hit fierce kick for the auto. And then after that, we can do one of his enders and let's go ahead and do one that does four hits and that'll be um, back four quick punch. So, and each time you press a direction, just keep holding that direction. So I'm gonna do charge back, forward fierce kick, medium kick. I'm still holding forward, back quick punch, fierce kick, and then forward quick punch. And that'll be the whole combo. Okay. You can juggle them afterwards by charging back and pressing forward and fierce punch, but that's an example of a killer combo that was 13 hits. And if you wanted to uh, do your ultra, instead of doing that last ender that I showed back forward quick punch, just go ahead and do his ultra, which is charge forward, press back, fierce punch. So in that case, the, the whole thing would be, and it's not gonna show the ultra because it's not he's not on danger, but you would do charge back, Forward fierce kick, medium punch, or medium kick, sorry. <laughs> medium kick, do the linker. And, and when you do the linker, you're gonna hold, hold forward, press back quick punch, and then you need to go ahead and hold forward again because his ultra is charged forward. So it would look like this, one, two, three, four, and then you would do that. And it would go straight into the ultra, which actually I can demo real quick. Let me just show it. Oh, I need to put it on danger. Sorry, this is gonna be a one take video, so uh, probably be a, a bit sloppy, but we'll get it done. 
So, here we go. Suit so opener, auto, linker, auto, ultra, okay? So, definitely not the highest ultra you can do with TJ combo, but that's gonna be better than probably what you had going on, which, from my understanding, was basically opener, auto, ultra. So, let's run through uh, some killer combos we can do with some of the other characters. Again, you can take a lot of different paths, but this will just be one example, but all of them are going to be the same five parts. Opener, auto, linker, auto, ender. Every one of them. So with Jago, we're going to do a fierce wind kick. That's our opener. Then we'll press medium kick for our auto. His linker is the laser sword, which is rotate to down back fierce punch. So we'll do opener, auto, linker. All right. After that linker, we have different options, but we're going to go with medium kick. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so that was opener, auto, linker, auto, and then we'll do an ender. Now with Jago, his four hit ender is uh, a fierce dragon punch. So opener, auto, linker, auto, ender. All right, now we got 13. That's a killer combo. Chief Thunder's next. Same thing. So we're going to use his triple axe for the opener. So that's charge back, press forward, fierce punch. Um, after that, we're going to do Fierce Kick, so that will be Opener, Auto, okay. After that, we'll do his Linker, which is Charge Forward, press Back, Medium Punch. So like I said before, you're charging back, you press Forward, just keep holding Forward, do your Auto, and then press Back and Medium Punch. So we got Opener, Auto, Linker. Now with Chief Thunder, if you try to do his... Um, if you try to do an auto after that linker, he's going to fall over. So you'll see. Opener, auto, linker, auto. And this is going to be true for any of the autos that you have. Um, that's if you start with this move. Now you, you can start with a different opener, but since this is a three hit move, we don't even need an auto to get to a killer combo. So um, we're just going to do opener, auto, linker, and then go straight into an ender which will rotate back and press a medium punch. So, so we charge back, forward fierce punch, fierce kick, back medium punch, and then rotate back medium punch. And there we got 13. Now there's a lot of stuff you can do differently in order to get more hits. But again, just trying to show some possible killer combos to get started. All right, Glacius is next. This one's gonna be pretty simple to do because we're gonna pretty much stick with medium punch only until we get to the end. We'll uh, we'll rotate forward and fierce punch for our ender. This is gonna be charge back, press forward medium punch. That's your opener. Press medium punch for the auto. While still holding forward, press back medium punch. That'll be your linker. Then hit medium punch again. So it's all medium punch. Opener, auto, linker, auto. And then after that, we're gonna rotate forward and press Fierce Punch. Opener, auto, linker, auto, ender. All right, there we go, 13. Now if you're trying that in versus mode, that's gonna get broke because everybody's gonna know that's medium punch, medium punch, medium punch, medium punch. So, uh, but especially playing the computer, uh, it should work. Orchid's next. Now if you wanna get killer combo with Orchid, uh, it's the easiest one. Charge back, press forward fierce kick, and then press, technically it's just quick punch afterwards. So there's one, two, three, okay. Charge back, and then you can press quick punch. But you can do this three times without the combo ending. So you just, basically you would do forward fierce kick and then back quick punch. That way you're already recharging. So it's opener, auto, well, there you go. Opener, auto, linker, auto, linker, auto. Okay. And then after that, you can do any of your enders, which we'll just do, um, we can rotate forward and fierce punch. So go once, twice, three times. Um, I forgot on that. That one you don't want to do in the corner because you, you, you push the opponent away. So we'll just do back forward medium kick. It's only a three hit, but we've already exceeded the, uh, <laughs> we've already exceeded the 12 hit quota. So now of course you can keep this going on a lot longer than that. 
you can use her forward back medium kick and all that stuff there's tons of stuff you can do with orchid to get those numbers way up there but yeah just back forward fierce kick quick punch three times in a row you've already well actually you could just do it twice and you've already you're already at 12 so all right cinder we're gonna charge back press forward and medium punch it's a two hit opener okay That'll be our opener. Then we'll press quick punch for an auto. Then while we're still holding forward, press back quick punch for the linker. And then we'll press medium punch again. All right, and then after that, we can do any of his enders. We'll just do, uh, you can do either do four forward medium punch or you can be charging back and press forward medium punch. So again, with the joystick, it's just this constant like back to forward then hold forward, forward to back, and then hold back, back to forward the whole time. So opener, auto, linker, auto, ender. All right. And then technically that's the setup for his infinite in the arcade version uh, off of that, that ender I just did. All right, next up we'll do Saber Wolf. So with him, I really like to start with the, uh, the roll now of course you can have a you can have a howl already and it'll give you two more hits, which is uh, rotate to down back, fierce kick. Um, but we're gonna same stuff: charge back, press forward in a button, press a button, forward and back in a button. Right? It's just this constant. So we're gonna do charge back, press forward and quick kick. That's gonna be our opener. Then after that, we're gonna do medium punch. And then after that. It's forward back medium punch for the linker. Okay, there's your linker. And then I'll probably do, I guess, a fierce kick. Yeah, fierce kick is what I'll do after the, the linker. And then after that, we'll do back forward medium kick. So the whole thing, even without the howl. It's like opener, auto, linker, auto, ender. Any, you can just, like I said, the joystick is just boom, there, linker, doom, hinder, right? Just constant back forth. So, and then if you get the howl involved, uh, opener, auto, linker, auto, hinder. I kind of missed my charge there, but I, I corrected for it. So I'll, I'll try to show it again. Here you go. Opener, auto, linker, auto, hinder. All right. Uh, next up, Rip Tour. All right, with Rip Tour, same pattern. Charge back, press forward, press a button, forward then back, press a button, and then back and then forward, right? So once you start to see the pattern, it's it's pretty it's pretty universal. There There's definitely some places where you can mix it up and all that stuff, but I can at least show you an example where like most of these are the same. Now the buttons you press for autos and all that obviously is going to be dependent on the character, but all of that stuff is covered in the tutorials. I'll, you know, I show which, usually what two buttons work after openers and then there's three buttons that work off of a uh, linker and it's going to be, a, there's going to be at least one quick, one medium and one fierce. But anyway, Rip Tour, we're going to charge back, press forward and medium punch. That'll be our opener. Then we're gonna press quick punch for the auto. While we're still holding forward, press back and quick kick. That'll be your linker. And then after that, we're gonna press quick punch again for our auto. And then after that, we're gonna do back forward fierce kick. One, two, linker, auto, ender. Now Riptor has uh, two four hit enders that you could have done instead, but just to try and keep this sort of like charge back press forward That's the ender I went with um, Next up is spinal All right with spinal we're gonna start with four forward fierce punch. It's gonna be the opener We're gonna work with um, and then we'll press medium punch for the auto Then forward back medium punch is gonna be the linker Now if you're on player one side, you have to do it really quick if you, if you put a, I'll show you, you put a slight delay on it and uh, you'll see that you'll get this happening, right? Where it shows the four hits and then you're starting a combo with a with an, uh, a linker, which is actually what you'll want to do if you really want to get like his 32 hit ultra, but that's not what we're here for. So 
Yeah, we'll do the four forward uh, fierce punch for the opener. Press medium punch for the auto. Forward back for the uh, forward back medium punch for the linker. And then after that, hit hit fierce punch. Opener auto linker auto. And then we'll end it the same way we started it by four forward fierce punch. So. All right, so one more time. We got opener, auto, linker, auto, ender. So full four, fierce punch, medium punch, four back medium punch, fierce punch, full forward, fierce punch. And then we've got full gore, which is mostly gonna be on fierce kick. So we're gonna charge back again, forward fierce kick, that'll be our opener. And then press fierce kick again for the auto. Now his linker is a little different. It's rotates it down back and fierce kick. And make sure you end it down back. Um, I've seen somebody uh, having problems with this. If you rotate back, if you rotate all the way back, it'll it'll knock them down with the eye laser. So yeah, charge back for fierce kick. And then press fierce kick. That'll be your opener and your auto. And then rotate the down back fierce kick. That'll be your linker. Right after that, hit fierce kick again for your auto. So it's opener, auto, linker, auto. And then at the very end, we could do a dragon punch with fierce punch. Uh, that'll give you four hits. Or we could do back four medium kick. Um, a backwards dragon punch with quick punch. Tons of stuff, but uh, let's just do back four medium kick. So opener, auto, linker, auto, ender. There you go. So hopefully that has helped a bit. If you still have some more questions about it, just hit me up and I'll try to help you out. Thanks for watching.